Hello, everyone, and happy Labor Day. I'm Juan Williams, along with Kimberly Guilfoyle, Eric Bowling, Melissa Francis, and the man who thinks robots deserve today off, Greg Gutfeld. It's 5 o'clock in New York City, and this is The Five. It's September 5th, and you know what that means. The first of three presidential debates between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, just three weeks away. It's going to be great TV, that's for sure. One of the most highly anticipated matchups in political history. What are Clinton and Trump doing to get ready? You have, you have to prepare, but I, I watched a lot of his debates during the primaries, and he insulted all of his opponents. He right. insulted all of the moderators. He insulted... Now, I guess about 80% of the American people and the rest of the world. So I want to take it seriously. I want to talk about what I think we can do and, and how important it is. But you've got to be prepared for, like, wacky stuff that comes at you. And I think they're going to be very important. I, I really, it looks like it's going to be three debates. I look very much forward to it. It'll be a very interesting, that especially the first one's going to be a very interesting <laughs> evening. Well, I think it's going to be very important. I don't know if it's make or break, but I've done well in the debates. I had 17 people in the debates, and, you know, I'm the one that was that survived. And I've enjoyed the debating process. I never debated before professionally or as a politician, because I was never a politician before. But we had 11 debates that I, would, that I participated in, and according to everybody, I did very well. Sources say Clinton has at least 25 researchers working on opposition files to help the secretary find a way to fluster Trump while they're on the stage. Donald Trump has been prepping with advisors, but says it can be dangerous to go overboard with preparation for debates because you don't want to sound scripted or phony. So, Melissa, mm. you're someone who has been on Hello. a professional stage. You know what it's like. <laughs> can you be too scripted in a debate? Um, I guess you could be. I don't know. I, it's hard for me to believe that Trump isn't doing a lot of preparation. When you look at even just how much better his prompter reading has gotten, for example, I mean, remember just a week or two ago when he first started using the prompter all the time, you could really tell he was reading it. And then all of a sudden he started doing it well. So I think that he's definitely practicing. I think for Hillary Clinton, I mean, she's kind of a bit robotic no matter what. So I'm sure she's practicing, but she comes off kind of like an elitist robot dictator out there doing her thing. Um, I think you can overpractice, but probably not in this setting because it's really high pressure and there's going to be about a zillion and a half people watching and neither of them knows what's really coming. So I would say practice to your heart's content. Well, you know, Kimberly, mm -hmm. in fact, what we hear is that the Clinton team is talking to Tony Schwartz, who wrote The Art of the Deal with Donald Trump, trying to get inside Trump's head. And they're also consulting with psychologists to see if there's a way they can irritate him, you know, needle him on the stage and get him to act out of character. What do you think? I mean, I'm sure that's a lot of money for consultants, you know, to make. It's one, uh, one way to stimulate the economy. Figure it out. Trump's not, like, in hiding all the time. He's not, like, napping now, shh, like Hillary is, probably resting for the debate. <laughs> you know, I mean, what is there to figure out about him? He's transparent. He tweets. He tells you exactly what's uh, on his mind. He's been available every day for any kind of press conference. He's done how many rallies now? I mean, the guy is constantly on the move. To be honest, I'm concerned because he's working so much is he going to be able to be prepared, you know, for the debate any time even to be able to invest in it because, um, you know, he's made himself so available to the media and to all of these other events. Well, you know, Eric, I've never, I've never ever heard of a candidate who refuses to do a mock debate, but apparently he's refused. He said, don't you want to practice? He's, he's me having meetings, and according to the newspaper reports, they have bacon cheeseburgers, Cokes, and uh, sit around and just talk about the debate, but there's no actual practice. Now, you know, historically, especially among the Democrats, they bring in somebody to pose as the other side, right? And they act like the other candidate. But he doesn't want to do it. No. Okay, at least we don't know if he's going to do it. Well, that's I mean, what they say. He's in good yeah. hands now. He has Kellyanne uh, Conway. He's got Steve Bannon. Look at what he did in the last Richard few days. Man. He flew to Mexico before his big immigration speech, and then he went immediately to Ohio, did speech after speech after speech. Then he went to Detroit and did this big economic thing, reach out to African-American communities. He is on a, 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 a serious schedule right now. So he's being handled very well. I think he'll be more than well prepped. I think the, the, they're probably saying yeah, I think it's genius to say, yeah, we got cheeseburgers and Cokes, and, that's, right. and we're, not, we're not. But I'm sure he's going to be extremely prepped for that debate. That's also, so the rumor is 
that Mark Cuban may sit in as Donald Trump on the Democrat side for Hillary. For Hillary. So she may yeah. debate him with Jennifer Granholm, who's been a longtime debate preparer, who did, did a lot of uh, debate prep with Barack Obama. She's been very, very good. And on the other side, the rumor is that Laura Ingram is going to sit down and help, help Donald Trump out acting as Hillary Clinton. I think the, both of these are great people to, to stand in if the rumors are true. So one of the I most memorable moments I recall from Knock recent debate 16. history, I, was, uh, I came home after a debate and I went to see my mom. And my mom was on the edge of losing it, sort of. And I said, Mom, boy, that debate you know, between Al Gore and uh, George Bush, boy, I think Gore really handed it to him. And my mom looked at me and she said, Oh, no, he was so rude and condescending to Mr. Bush. I think Mr. Bush is such a nice man, and I just can't believe that that's what you think. I was like, whoa, what debate did I watch? So one of the dangers, Greg, for Hillary Clinton in this is she might be well prepared, she might have more knowledge, but she comes across to the audience as somewhat arrogant, elitist. I think you said elitist, elitist right? Elitist robot, Marie? I think. Yeah, what do you think, Greg? Hmm. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting. The, right now, these candidates are on two separate train tracks. They keep going past each other. What a debate does is it puts them on the same track and they're coming right at them. And I think it's yeah. going to be, I think the first debate is going to be extremely ugly. I think each candidate could learn from the other one. For example, Trump could learn to be more policy driven. She could learn to be funnier. I don't know if that's going to happen. But we're, the thing we're not talking about is the real debate. Pence versus Kane. I mean, we're talking about Trump versus Hillary, but by far more interesting than that, more exciting, it's Pence versus Kane. Do you know which one is Pence or which one is Kane? <laughs> if I put there they are, there they are. Uh, it, this is like a tennis match between Greg? kitchen appliances. This will have the excitement of watching your phone recharge. I don't, I'm not sure we need a VP debate. Right. We, what, what, did, what did Admiral Stockdale say? Who am I my, and why I, am I? He was a great guy. That you like that? that? Right. Yeah. But it's interesting. It's like it's 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 so milk toast that yeah. But okay. Uh, but the other side, toast. the other side, Gregory is You'll be sent Trump to cover comes that. off. <laughs> at, Trump comes off as not knowing what he's talking about. He's, he gets embarrassed up on the stage. The challenge, the challenge for him, and the reason why he succeeded, was he was up against 17 people, or 16. Was it 17 yeah. total? So that means that you could insult and move on. But if, uh, and to the next person, and that takes up most of the time. But you're one-on-one -on -one now, so that means you can't just lob little grenades over and over again. It's, it's sooner or later, you got it. You got to add some facts, some substance when you're one on one, or perhaps one and two if Johnson is there. But I don't think he will be. <laughs> All right, not, Trump, not the way it's Trump's going. campaign manager says the Republican nominee is taking a very different approach to his opponent as he preps for their debate. Look, he's an unconventional candidate, and he's not going to prepare the way Hillary does. So the Donald Trump, the authentic Donald Trump, right. who's been taking this case directly to the voters, is the one that you will see on the debate stage with Hillary Clinton. And I think they're nervous over in Clinton camp because he is the X, he's the unpredictable X factor. She is the scripted statist Hillary Clinton that, you know, that basically needs to memorize lines. Wow. So we, this is what we're saying, that she's scripted, he's not scripted. But there is an amazing, interesting historical fact here. This is the first time we're going to see a woman on the debate stage. Okay, and you've got a candidate, Donald Trump, who's known to have a little difficulty with women. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is this a danger that he could do something that especially women voters would interpret as Offensive Leading insulting. question. Leading to, to question. Objection. Objection, Leading. Your Honor. Objection. We, Juan, we never do that here on the phone. Oh, we never, we never, <laughs> we okay. never say, was that a great speech by Trump <laughs> okay. or a really great speech? <laughs> no, yes, we yes, would yes. never say that. Um, or look, his uh, best speech. Best speech ever. <laughs> best speech ever. Or, ever. And will ever or be. Or was it huge? Huge, huge. Yeah, it huge. was a huge speech, yeah. So okay. what do you think about so, the... Anything is possible, right? Of course. He's going to speak his mind. He's not a scripted person, but I think that's why he's done so well, you know, thus far. Right. But uh, Hillary Clinton is somebody who's battle tested. She's going to be able. To, I think she's going to be prepared. She'll be able to hold her own. I do not think that he's going to be intimidated by facing her on the debate. As a woman. As a as a candidate running for president. But he's got to deal with the gender. fact that she's a woman. I understand that. But what is there to deal with? He should debate her as if she is anyone else on the stage, just like he did. When Carly Fiorina was on the stage. Oh, no, 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 no. no. that Listen. didn't work so well. No, what I'm saying is, she, uh, Carly Fiorina was treated like an equal on the stage, as she should be with all the other uh, male uh, candidates up there running for the Republican uh, nomination, right? So I think you have to kind of like play your game, focus that way. Do mm, not go and I say, disagree. I see a female, yeah. I see a male, 
I, I debate her on the issues. I, he should, but unfortunately, I think everybody's going to be watching with a magnifying glass, and he does have to be careful about his tone, and he can't attack her too much. I think both sides are completely sandbagging and lying about the preparation. I mean, she's saying, oh, he's so wild and crazy. I don't know where it's going to come mm -hmm. from. I mean, who is she kidding? She's as tough as nails. He's saying, I'm eating cheeseburgers and drinking Coke, and we're, you know, playing field hockey, and we're not even practicing over here. Everyone's lying. Everyone is practicting. They're going get, to get out there. It's going to be, I would bet, the highest rated biggest night for a debate ever everyone's going to be watching especially Huge. that first one and i bet that they're both going to come out swinging you're forgetting though there were a couple debates where trump was really subdued i mean remember that yeah. so I, I think that's one of the fears is maybe he backs off a little too much that's why he's because be he himself. doesn't want to look like he's attacking a woman i agree with you on that premise that he does need to be well careful. let me let me ask mr masculine you know that once. Which one of these two? Yeah, is Mr. which Masculine? one? Come on. I, 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 Come on. More specific. <laughs> so alpha. Okay. So when Hillary Clinton had her first Senate debate here in New York, right, her opponent actually walked over to her. Yep. And that was seen as too, too aggressive, too invading yeah. her space. That's not, there's nothing that's, look at it this way. Here is um, UFC Donald Trump versus championship boxing Hillary Clinton. The old school, the typical politician, right, right, right. she knows how to box, she knows how to fight in the ring. But you put a UFC boxer in, the, in a regular boxing ring, that person wins every time because the boxer's used to rules. Rules go out the window when you put UFC and, 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 and a boxer together. And, and Donald Trump is not, you can't prepare for Donald Trump. No matter how hard you try, you just don't know where it's coming. By you the don't way, know what she you're gets gonna snippy get. too, so she has to be careful because he's he's going to be able to poke and, her and, cage. And right, because yeah. she doesn't prepare or, or she can't prepare for it, he'll come at her with some things that'll frustrate her, and she may get frustrated and mad and angry, and and that'll come off poorly too. I think this is going to be a very very important moment for Donald Trump. So, Greg, if you are now advising the two of them going into this, what are you saying? Well, I think um, back to this thing about gender, I think uh, Bernie McGurk says this a lot. He says that the, 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 the compliment to Trump is also the consequence of Trump. He doesn't see gender, so he will insult a woman's looks mm. the way he insults a man's looks. Like he'll make fun of Carly Fiorina's face. Yes. So because he doesn't think that that's any different that's than making true. fun of a man's face. So that is truly that's being true. gender blind. He doesn't see male or female, and therefore that comes off as sexist, ironically. I guess I, I think you have to maintain composure. You, you cannot. What about if humor? Either, if either side loses their cool, then they lose. What, what about like trying? You, where someone said, "Can Hillary be funny? Can she be relaxed?" She's mm -hmm. got to have a few things, in, you know, up her sleeve, and they usually do. You know, there always somebody has a couple of jokes, and she's going to try to draw him out with a couple of little shots to get him mad because they've been looking at his psyche. And all he has to do is to try to get her just angry enough to raise her voice so that she sounds like she's incredibly defensive and shrill. That's what I would do. I would try to that get her. That high-pitched laugh that she does, yeah. like with the wipe the server yeah. thing. He's, she's got to get him to look mean, and he's got to make her look shrill. Well, as Ronald Reagan once said, I'm not going to take advantage of my opponent's youth and inexperience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty good for an old guy. <laughs> Much more to come on the Five's Labor Day special. Yeah. Is a big surprise in store for Trump or Clinton coming very soon? That would be an October surprise, perhaps? We've got some predictions. Stay with us. Yeah.